This is the beginning of uh, a rocket rack that I'm making for 4th of July. It's gonna be... What is it? Oh, it's for bio rockets. I'm gonna... I have it laying down on the side right here, but... This end's gonna be the end going up, and all the holes right here. I'm gonna put like two or three in each, and I got uh, ordered some fuse. And it says it's supposed to get here July 3rd, so I really hope it does, or this works for nothing. But I'm gonna fuse them all together, and there's gonna be like 45 or something like that, but... Uh... What I've got going on here is, these two pieces are like the main legs. And I forget how long they are. I think it's 48, 46 inches long. These are 46 inches. I have some pictures in here. Uh, 46 inches each one of these legs. And from the actual thing you're going to say on where my toe is, to the ground is 38 inches. And then from this little thing that the uh, shelf is sitting on these. This is 30 inches from the ground. And the little blocks right there, they're one and a half inches long. That doesn't make sense, does it? 30 and a half inches from this to the ground, and then this is 32 inches from this to the ground. And the block is one and a half inches. If that makes any sense. And, uh, I had trouble with these nails because it kept splitting wood, so I just used liquid nail on this to put this to here and like when I on this to put it these two together. Right now you can see I have it baking out in the sun. So that's that for now. And this shelf right here that's going across is forty inches long all together or no, it's forty four inches long this is. Forty four. And uh the holes are one and a half inches apart, which is fifteen holes there. Let me see if I have my measurements made. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh well, I'll have to cut it down. <laughs> it was supposed to be 8 inches from this part out on each side, but I put the uh, I put it on there wrong, so I'm gonna fix it. Sorry, I had to stop there. Uh, anyway, yeah, it was supposed to be from where is it right there? I can't remember. Each one was supposed to come from right here out and be 8 inches, or from here out and be 8 inches. I can't really remember. I did this earlier. And I haven't them up wrong. This one goes from this side out. I don't know, maybe it's right. Let me get the tape. Right. Oh, I'll do it later. But either, either way, this is supposed to be eight and They're supposed to be equal. And I didn't. So what I'll probably just do is cut down one of the sides so they're equal and put another hole right here. Because I already got it marked out. That's funny. And then for legs, since this is for uh, stabilizers or whatever is going to make it be angle, we plan on using this wood over here. I'll probably just take this. I don't know what the measurements are going to be on this. I'll throw some pictures up. I have pictures for all the measurements up here. So after this video gets done, it'll be just a slideshow picture showing all the measurements. Um, I'm just going to put this one there. So when it's standing, so when the whole thing's standing up like this board, it, this is going to be next to the leg. I'm just going to have one screw so I can fold it out and angle it the way I need to. So uh, it'll go straight. Man, this is warped, so I'll just have to cut this one down. So after I get this all fixed up, that should be done drying here in a minute, I'll come back and make another video. Finished product. Got the legs on there, and they're screwed in so you can pivot them. They're 24 and a half inches long. 24 and a half on each side. And then I put this middle piece in here. I don't even know if that's going to really help with anything. I don't know how long that is. I kind of just whipped it up. And instead of just waiting for the glue or the nails to dry, the liquid nail, I used a whole bunch of these finishing nails and put them in every which way. And then I went back and I drilled half of the holes out with a 3 8 inch drill bit. So this is the finished product. And Hopefully on the 4th of July you'll see it in action. So, I hope you can build your own, I guess. I'm going to try and make a uh, Roman candle rack next.